today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your very own homemade french fries. So the things that you're going to need are potatoes, a peeler, um, a big bowl of ice water, and then you're also going to need olive oil and sea salt. Um, and then we'll talk about cooking methods when we get there in a little bit. So first I'm just going to get these potatoes washed up. I'm going to use my vegetable scrubber. I'm going to scrub all the way around all of the potatoes uh, and then we're going to work on peeling them. Okay, so I have my potatoes all scrubbed. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel these and then I'll show you how to cut them up for the french fries. So I'll work through maybe just one of these and then show you the technique. And then you guys can go ahead and get started on yours. And after I cut these potatoes, I'm gonna put them right into my big bowl of icy cold water. And that's gonna do a couple things. One, it's gonna help them so they don't turn brown, so they don't oxidize. And then also it's going to pull all the extra starch out of the potatoes. So when we cook them, they're going to be nice and crispy and not um, mushy fries. So I like super crispy fries. So I want to make sure that these are going to be soaked for at least one hour. So if you can see me here, I'm just going to curl my fingers in, practice good cutting technique. I've got my hand up onto the blade a little bit. So remember, we're gonna cut, when we take something round that we wanna make into matchsticks, we're gonna go planks. So I'm cutting all these planks, and then we're gonna cut each of these planks into sticks. So if you can see that I have this one laying flat here, I'm just gonna cut them, let the knife do the work. If you can see these, these are going to be my french fries. So I'll hold a couple of them up for you. So there we go. These are just going to go right into the cold water. I'm just going to work through the rest of them. And I want them to be pretty thin because once you start cooking them, you don't want them to take too long to crisp up. So now I'm just gonna work through the rest of my potatoes. And just to let you know, so I'm using these red ones. You can use Idaho russets, you can use yellow potatoes, like pretty much any potatoes that you want. But I try to go for um, ones, so I just had this bag of red potatoes and I just pulled the bigger ones out of the bag because um, it's just gonna be easier to work with when you have bigger potatoes. So I'm using about 10 or 12 potatoes, I think. And then I'll show you what that looks like when they're all cut up. I finished cutting up all my potatoes. They're all in um, these shoestring, french fry shape. And then I just put all of them in this bowl of cold water. So I'm just gonna let this sit for an hour and get all that starch pulled out of them. So when we bake these or put them in the air fryer, they're gonna get nice and crispy. All right, my potatoes have been soaking in this cold water for an hour now. I'm going to take them out. I'm gonna rinse them off. And then I'll just show you how to get them into your oven. Um, so I'm actually gonna do two cooking methods. I'm gonna do some in the oven, I'm gonna do some in the air fryer, just so you can see what those look like. And I'm just taking these out and trying not to get the ice. And I'm just straining them. So this is actually my salad spinner. This is gonna help me remove some of the extra water. And if you don't have a salad spinner, that's totally fine. You can just rinse them in a regular colander and then um, I'm gonna show you how to dry them off with a towel. So you don't need anything special to make this happen. Open up this clean towel that I have. Potatoes are going to go right there. Just going to dry them off. Just kind of roll them around, get all that extra water off there. This is also going to help make them crispy because if you go in with wet french fries to an oven, then your potatoes are going to steam and then that's just going to make them soft. So drying them off is going to help crisp them up. And then these are just going to go right into a clean bowl. Okay, so I have dry potatoes now. 
I'm going to lightly dress these in olive oil. Also do a pinch of salt. And this is where you can get creative if you want your fries to be a different flavor. You can add some like Cajun seasoning to them. You can add um, taco seasoning, whatever you have that you like, you can add to your french fries. Just a second, Hannah. I'm just gonna toss these around, get them all nice and coated. And then we're gonna get them, um, half of them laid out onto a baking sheet. And the other half, I'm gonna show you how I um, just put in the air fryer. I have here just a clean baking sheet. I'm gonna put a silicone mat on top. And if you don't have a silicone mat, that's totally fine. You can just use parchment paper, just something um, to put down so your french fries don't stick to the pan. So I have my lightly um, oiled and salted potatoes here. So these are just gonna go right on. You wanna just make sure they're a single layer, so just kind of tap them. Make sure that they're not piled on top of each other. And these are gonna go into a 375 oven, and I put mine on convect because um, when you put it on convect oven, it blows mm -hmm. um, the air across your food. Just a second, Hannah. And then that's gonna just help the cooking time go a little bit faster and then it's gonna help them crisp up too. If you don't have a convection oven, that's mm -hmm. fine. You can just use um, regular mm -hmm. 375 um, heat and that is mm -hmm. gonna work too. Mm -hmm. So after we mm -hmm. cook them at 375 for about 20 minutes, to cook them all the way through, we're gonna bump up the heat to 425 and then cook them for another 15 minutes or so. My french fries, I'm gonna cook in this air fryer. So this is my air fryer drawer. I'm just gonna throw the rest of those boiled and salted potatoes in there. So I'm just gonna try to move them around so um, they're not too piled on top of each other. It's gonna be hard to get these on a single layer because I wanna cook all of these at the same time. So I'm just gonna put these in. I have my temperature set at 330 and the nice thing about the air fryer is it is convection and it heats up pretty fast. Uh, so these are gonna cook a little bit faster than the oven ones. And I'm just gonna get these going on for um, 20 minutes right now. I might come back when the 20 minutes is done and just shake them around a little bit, check on them. And then um, if I need to, put them in for another five minutes. So we'll get that going. Finish. I actually reduced the time to 15 minutes because I checked them after 10 and they were looking pretty far along. So I just return, reduced it down to 15 and I think they look pretty good. So I'm going to call those ones done and then we'll check the oven ones in a few minutes. Okay, so the set of oven fries is done now. We did 20 minutes at 375 and then I just kept the oven closed and then bumped the temperature up to 425 for 15 minutes.